Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. Today we're gonna switch it up a bit and look at how to use Fusion 360 to export DXF files for laser cutting, all while making this beautiful yet very practical wooden cell phone stand. Here's my Fusion design that I made, and as you can see, it's just made of two bodies. I have this uh, flat back part here, and then uh, the angled part here with these sort of extruded tabs that will slide into uh, the holes that I made right here, which hold it up. Um, so these two bodies were made from the sketches. So it's just simply two sketches that I have here. Um, you can see the first sketch and then I've got that second sketch here. And I just basically extruded those out um, to give me my body. So let's see how we actually export this as a DXF. And it's quite simple to do. Um, all you have to do is create a sketch on the top surface. So I'm going to get rid of body two right now. Um, let's go to this top view and I'm going to go to uh, sketch, create sketch. And then I'm just going to click on the surface that I want to uh, get the outline of. So I click on that and you'll see it'll create a new sketch here, right? Mine is labeled sketch five. Uh, and then all you have to do is just go to stop sketch. Now this is a bit tricky because if I get rid of bodies and let me bring in my sketch. I don't really see anything there. You think that you have to project it into your sketch? You don't. If I highlight over it, you'll actually see the outlines. Um, so that's all it takes. And then what I'm going to do now is right click on that sketch and just go down to save as DXF. I'll select my location. In this case, I just created a folder named DXF. I'll give this a name. We'll call it phone stand back and then I'm just going to click save. Now I'm going to bring this into Illustrator to prepare it for laser cutting, uh, but you can use other software as well. I know CorelDRAW is popular among laser cutter users uh, and also Inkscape is a free option. I'm going to open up Illustrator and just go to file, open, uh, find my part, go ahead and double click it. It's going to give me this dialog box. The important thing here to check is original size scale. I want it to be one uh, units equals one. I'm going to change inches to millimeters because that's what I designed in. It tries to convert it back to um, what I think it would be in millimeters as 25.4. So I'm just going to change that to one because it's one unit is going to equal one millimeter. Click OK and it'll bring in my part. Uh, it's upside down, so I'm just going to rotate it by right clicking, going to transform, rotate this at 180 degrees. And now what I want to do is just bring in my logo. So I'm going to go to file, go to place, choose my logo, and I'm going to place that on here. So I bring it in and I just have to scale it. So I'm just going to hold shift and bring the uh, size down a bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it to put or just center it right here in my uh, model. Now in order to prepare this to print or to engrave, uh, it's going to be a little bit different depending on which laser you're using and what software you're using. Uh, it usually comes down to either line width or setting the color of the strokes. In my case with Illustrator, what I would do is if I want this uh, outline to cut, I would set the line width to 0.001 inch and it would cut out everything that's that line width and then engrave anything else. I'm not going to get into that because it's going to be different for each of you depending what you're using. Um, so let's say I go ahead and, and get this ready. I send it to the laser. Let's now uh, jump in the laser and see how this cuts. I loaded a 1 8 inch piece of birch plywood uh, that I'm cutting and as you can see right now it's performing the vector cutting operation and this is being run in real time I haven't sped up the video at all and that's the beauty with laser cutters they're so much faster than 3d printing especially if you're doing flat pieces like these uh, it's definitely the way to go now I'm um, running this on an epilogue zinc laser it's a 30 watt co2 laser and for those interested in my settings I'm running this at 70 percent power and 70 percent speed now assembly doesn't get any more simple than this it's just basically snap both pieces together and here's my phone stand ready to be used now this is just straight out the laser with no finishing work done uh, i may go back later and either stain the wood or just add a clear coat uh, a few options here to make this even more beautiful 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts are in the uh, comments below. Uh, also, if you'd like me to do more laser cut projects, uh, definitely let me know. I'm curious to get feedback on that as well. Uh, and if you are doing your own laser cutting, I'm curious to hear about what your workflow is. What software are you using? What machine? Um, and if you have any tips, uh, definitely share it with the community. Um, love to hear that as well. Uh, all right, guys, I'll see you next week. Oh, before I forget, um, I'm going to actually add this design. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, on my website uh, under uh, my all-access pass for my design courses. So if you're interested in learning how to go uh, and make this design step-by-step, -step, check uh, on my website. You'll see that. Um, and stay tuned for next week uh, on my channel. I'm going to show you a similar process, uh, but with exporting SVG instead of DXF. So, all right guys, I'll see you next week.